Hello, I'm Sunam, and this is today's Jewelry Consumer News. Have you ever wondered how diamonds can be grown in a laboratory with all the same properties of a mine diamond? With recent advancements in technology, lab-grown diamonds are now optically, physically, and chemically identical to earth mine diamonds. The lab actually mimics the natural growing conditions of a diamond in a modern-day lab environment. Today, Jewelry Consumer News takes you inside a diamond lab to watch how diamonds are grown. Well, people have been experimenting now for over a century to create lab-created diamonds. It's really only been in the last decade that we've seen huge advances with creating diamonds in a modern-day lab environment. You might be wondering how exactly we make lab-created diamonds. Well, first we place a diamond seed into a chamber of heat and pressure. Now, this chamber of heat and pressure naturally mimics what's happening in the earth. Crystallization occurs and the diamond matures within six to 10 weeks. It is then cut and polished and graded exactly like an earth mine diamond is. In our ongoing quest to find the most innovative jewelry designers, Jewelry Consumer News recently learned about Miadana, a company that creates and produces exquisite, affordable fine jewelry set with lab-grown diamonds. Diamonds that are created without harming our environment or native communities. Every purchase of eco-friendly jewelry at Miadana helps fund agricultural projects in mining communities throughout the world. Please welcome to Jewelry Consumer News, Mia Donna's founder and CEO, Anamika Anderson. Hi, Anamika here from Mia Donna. It's a little known fact that lab created diamonds, also known as man made diamonds, are far superior to earth mined diamonds. Most people don't realize that we can actually make diamonds now in a modern day lab environment that are far more beautiful and affordable than anything we'll ever get out of the earth. I named my company Mia Donna after the two most influential women in my life, my daughter Mia and my mother Donna. The idea was simple. I wanted to create an eco-friendly jewelry line that would relieve the pressures that diamonds and gold put on humanity and the environment. But at the same time, it would be the sustainable funding source to support diamond mining communities through our foundation, The Greener Diamond, so they could build farms instead of mine for diamonds. Unfortunately, conflict diamonds are still a real problem in today's society. From 2010 to 2014, 48 million carats of conflict diamonds, well diamonds mined under horrific conditions, hit the international diamond market. And this is just from one country and the ones we know about. The Greener Diamond is really where my passion lies. Because of people purchasing eco-friendly fine jewelry from Mia Donna, we've already been able to build two farms in West Africa, supporting over 1,000 reformed child soldiers. Now I am involved in every aspect of the Greener Diamond. I visit these countries that we're supporting and talk to the locals to find out the real issues and what needs to be done. To be honest, when I started this mission, not many people took me seriously. But being able to see the positive changes we've already been able to make is truly inspiring. And now let's hear what jewelry consumers are saying about Mia Donna's latest jewelry style set with lab grown diamonds. I really like the Kenya ring uh, with the halo effect. If this ring would have been as popular as it is today, I would have definitely wanted one for my engagement ring. Um, I just love the cut and brilliance of that Kenya ring. Morrison ring is actually the best out of all three. I would rate that as the top one. Uh, I like the two-tone silver or platinum color. And the one that really caught my eye was the Jessica ring. It really stands out, it's really unique, and it's really different. Um, when you see the ring, it's amazing. You know, it has the gold and it also has the silver. And it's something that's different that you normally don't see. And it's, um, if you present that to someone, it shows them that you really care about them. Thanks for watching today's Jewelry Consumer News. For more information about Jewelry Consumer News, visit our website at jewelryconsumernews.com or follow us on Facebook and YouTube. I'm Sunam, reminding you, 
It's the consumer's opinion that counts.